What's up guys, DRock1992 here. For this next video and for my next movie review, I'm going to be reviewing a spoof comedy that came out in all the way back in 1974. Uh, this comedy is, um, I'm sure for the older audience and all that, is something that they definitely remember. Um, maybe some younger people know of this movie and all that. Um, but this movie is Blazing Saddles. Uh, Blazing Saddles, uh, like I mentioned, came out in 1974. It is a spoof comedy directed by Mel Brooks. And Mel Brooks is probably, to me, one of the sole guys, one of the guys responsible for bringing spoof comedy into the mainstream. Because... I don't think he ever really heard about... There were spoof movies. I mean, there always have been spoof films. But he really popularized them with... You know, because every almost every single movie by Mel Brooks that he directed or starred in were um, spoof comedies. So he proved... He's proven over the years that he has been a master of the spoof comedy for sure he just knows comedy I mean there's so many people um, out there who there are a lot of people there are a few people who know their comedy who know how to do comedy right and Mel Brooks is one of those people um, so Blazing Saddles is a parody of the wild wild west it's a it's a parody of western life and racism back then um, racism in the West and all that back then. Uh, and basically what the plot is, it's about this guy, uh, this black man who becomes a sheriff of, um, of a little town, um, because, um, <clears throat> yeah, there's this guy who becomes a sheriff, a black guy who becomes a sheriff, and, you know, you think you think for a minute there, it's like, okay, this is actually a good thing. It improves race and all that, race relations, to have a black sheriff in the West. But it is part of a grander scheme by the evil um, Hedley Lamar, uh, who is destined to get prop um who uh, plans to uh put a railroad in into that town and all that and increase business for for the and increase business for himself and all that sort of thing so that basically is the major uh the major plot point of this film um so yeah he just plans to uh get he plans to have the people of the town's called Rock Ridge. He plans to have the people of Rock Ridge abandon the town because of the black sheriff and drive him out of town or something like that. And then he plans to have a railroad come into that town and uh, go through Rock Ridge. So, so needless to say. Um, you know, the characters, pretty much everybody in this movie performs exceptionally. And I start with the lead guy, who's a guy named Cl Clavon Little, who plays the Black Sheriff. And he does a masterful job at the spoof comedy. He really, I'm surprise this guy I've only heard of this guy through this movie and that's been it so to me he kind of seems like a one-hit wonder because I don't think I've ever seen another movie with this guy but you know just if he is a one-hit wonder that one-hit wonder was amazing this guy is funny he just bizarre it's a you know he has a lot of bizarre situations happen to him and you know my God, he performs the spoof comedy so well. Gene Wilder 
is in this movie. And for those of you um, who are familiar with Gene Wilder, his most famous role probably is Charlie and the Chocolate Factory as uh, Willy Wonka. So, his most popular role. He also is a collaborator with Mel Brooks. He was in a couple of uh, Mel Brooks movies. Uh, one that came before Blazing Saddles was called The Producers. He was in that movie, I believe. Um, but Blazing Saddles, for him, was a triumph. He really, he really performed very well. He played a good second fiddle, sort of, to Mel Brooks. And you have to give credit where credit is due to um, the villain, Hedley Lamar, played by a guy named Harvey Corman, who would appear in later Mel Brooks adaptations. Um, but Harvey Corman was exceptionally awesome as the villain. You have Madeline Kahn, who plays Lily von Stupp, the Teutonic Titwillow. Uh, very much a pun. Uh, very much a play on words right there, but Madeline Kahn is a, does exceptionally, does very well in this movie, and um, she has a song that she sings in this movie that's pretty funny. Um, uh, and But one of the big stars of this film, I think Clay Clavon Little was very good, Gene Wilder was great, Harvey Corman was very good, but I gotta say, Slim Pickens. Yeah, there's an actor named Slim Pickens. Go figure. Uh, Slim Pickens was a guy who was in old Western films. Uh, he was. He played a lot of cowboy roles, and he was a Western actor, definitely. He starred in a lot of Westerns. He plays. He plays a. Um, a stereotype in this Western world, um, in the Wild Wild West parody here, and he's one of the best characters in the movie. I think he plays a right hand man to Hedley Lamar, Tagger, and he's just so funny. So I mean he's great. You have to mention Mel Brooks. He plays two roles. He plays an Indian chief which is only seen in one scene which is okay, but his real big triumph in this movie, besides the directing, was playing Governor William J. Lepetamine, who is the uh, governor. Um, Harvey Corman's character, Hedley Lamar, is the assistant to the governor. Mel Brooks plays the governor, and man, oh man. You talk about a portrayal of a corrupt mayor, of a corrupt governor, a corrupt politician official Mel Brooks just made that just made that I mean he was great playing that corrupt official so again you have great performances and you need that in a spoof comedy to really power it and the performances in this film really power Blazing Saddles um you know uh, what can I say about this movie that I haven't already said? I mean, I love, well, you know, I love Blazing Saddles. I could watch this movie over and over again. That's how much I love it. If I see it on TV, I'll watch it. You know, especially on um, HBO where it um, no no censors or anything like that. Because you don't want to watch... There are certain movies that you do not want to watch on TV if they have censors in them. You know, if they bleep out word, swear words and stuff like that. Blazing Saddles, to me, is one of those. Because the racism and the, uh, and the swear words and all that sort of thing, they help this film, for sure. If you're not an extremely... If you're not somebody who likes racist type jokes and all that sort of thing, you probably Blazing Saddles probably isn't for you. But if you're a fan of a good spoof comedy that really is very very funny, you are going to love Blazing Saddles. You know, it is an older movie. For sure, it definitely is it 
was made in 1974, so it's over 40 years old, so it's an older film, but it is a good example of what the spoof comedy should be. And unfortunately, we just don't see a lot of great spoof comedies anymore. They've kind of fallen out of popularity. There have been a few that just haven't worked. Um, but, but, man, I mean, Blazing Saddles is a great is a great moment in spoof comedy history for sure. So I'm going to give it a 5 out of 5 stars. I really think it is so impressive. It probably, it is my favorite Mel Brooks movie of his. The characters are great, the spoof comedy is great, and it just serves, an, it serves as an outstanding example of great spoof comedy, for sure. So that is it for this review on Blazing Saddles, D-Rock 1992, out.